from West Philadelphia, born and raised. What's good, y'all? It's your good sis, Erica Veen, coming to you with a new series alert. I will be covering Bel Air, which is a Peacock original and a reboot of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air with a dark twist. Shout out to the subbies who have been requesting that I talk about this show. It is 100% because of y'all because I did not plan to do so, but I'm glad I did. In this video, we are going to be breaking down episode one. And of course, you know how I do. We go go through and do new videos for every episode this season. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my Bel Air content. You know, your girl is also breaking down all of the other hottest television shows across all of the networks. So, you know, you can hit that subscribe button because of that, because you know, you really don't want to miss out on any of this good television tea, but you hear about Bel Air. So make sure that you don't miss no Bel Air stuff. All right, y'all. So I'm going to break down specific scenes and things that happen in the episode that I like and dislike. But overall, I think that it's a solid series I was not necessarily excited about the reboot and then I saw the trailer and I was like okay it's giving it's giving a little darker all-american seas a little swagger like steez if you haven't seen swagger on Apple TV yo you really should check out that series it is so good Apple TV has some bangers it's just that they don't publicize it enough but like swagger is a banger and I can already tell like I thought that Bel Air was going to be a mix between all-american and swagger and I was dead right like I've already watched the first two episodes and I was 100% right. I've already broken down the first episode of Swagger on this channel. You can check it out. I'll link it in the cards above the description box down below so that you can see if that's something that you would be interested in. And then I also got to I gotta catch up and do the rest of my breakdowns for that. I'm going to go back and rewatch it because it was really that good of a series. But Bel Air is given. It, it, it is definitely a solid pilot. I think the only thing that I really struggled with throughout the episode is the fact that they move kind of quickly in different areas. Like sometimes they give a little bit of space to to you know really delve out the story and build up the characters and then other parts of the episode they really rush through it like there's a part in the episode where Carlton and Will are beefing right and like they start beefing because Will goes to lacrosse practice with him after lacrosse practice there in the locker room and Carlton is literally rocking out with these white boys who are rapping this rap song with like 6,000 n-words in it and they saying every last one of the n-words and Carlton's right in the middle like the coon that he is and just shucking a job and right along with them and will like nah you need to watch your mouth you need to not be saying that and that's when we first see the tension with this white boy connor who is going to be an issue but i guess is one of carlton's good friends but like does carlton even really have any good friends like <sighs> I was really taken aback by like how they flip people's characters. Like this show is not like a mirror one for one to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like Hillary is hella smart. She's an influencer. She's ambitious. She's poised. She got her stuff together. Ashley, I think is probably the closest person to their original character. Maybe a, a mix. Ashley and Will are probably the closest ones to their original characters. However, this new Dark Carlton, I don't like it. I don't like nothing about him. The fact that he's like literally tuning in on coke I can't and that's what all y'all really gonna hear me say about him because that's all I can think about he is giving Uncle Tom Steez he's giving get out vibes like he is just the worst and I personally like Carlton in the original like even though he was an elitist and a classist and he was you know jealous of Will it was understandable right because he was searching for his identity this one he's just dark coked out jealous and maybe it's just the coonery for me like I just can't forgive the coonery I, I really can't like he is going hard for this little white boy Connor who has dropped like 82 in bombs and got beef with Will about it because Will is disrupting it's the status quo for him and he actually has the nerve to defend it like oh the rappers say it and they sell rap to these white people and now you want to have attitude about it it's like I don't care they could go ahead and sing along and rap our music and skip that word period that's it there's no discussion Carlton Carlton is probably like my most hated character behind that is Uncle Phil and I'm gonna explain to y'all why <laughs> Why, once I get a little bit deeper into this breakdown, because Uncle Phil is just not giving what he's supposed to give. I love Aunt Viv, but I also love Cassandra Freeman, the actress who plays her. Like, I have been following her for years. She's absolutely just a beautiful person, and I adore her, and I think she's so talented. So, yeah, I'm totally here for that. And then they, they really give us a little bit of depth. Like, when we start out the episode, we're in West Philly with Will and his mom, and you get to see that he's like this basketball phenom. We get to go to his game where he has 
the game winning shot. He got a little arrogance to him, a little swag, but you know, not overly so. Then he got his little homeboy that his that's his ride or die, and he gets rolled up on in the hood by some little hater because you know that's how it happens in the hood. We always got some one or two haters. We always got the hater. Like if you decided not to sell drugs or not to do what everybody else on the block doing, you always gonna have somebody who resents that and kind of wishes that they were in your position. And then you also gonna have people that support you. Like I feel like I resonate with that a lot because there were people who I felt like in my hood that were doing things that they probably shouldn't have been doing, but they wouldn't let me do it or they wouldn't let me get involved or they were very protective because it was like known that I played basketball and I did really well and I was supposed to like go to college and all that kind of stuff. But in the first part of this episode, we run into the hater who wants to challenge Will to go, you know, play basketball and Will just got to get his respect because you know how our young black kings, actually our old black kings too, because y'all be out here fighting for y'all respect from people who really don't even matter. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you live because I understand how egos work and sometimes on our journey we gotta succumb to it okay will succumbs to his ego he goes to this basketball game he bets two thousand dollars versus him going to go work for the neighborhood drug dealer because whatever he rashad or whatever his name is i just don't understand the big goons within the hood like why is your thing that you need to get the great kid the kid that's destined for greatness to come and work for you and to and to like fall off the wagon and to throw his life away like why is that an accomplishment for you so he literally bets him two thousand dollars if will wins or if will loses he has to come and work for him and basically throw his life away like it's giving it's giving beta male energy it's giving your raggedy period but will does what he does him and his homeboy wax <laughs> wax the neighborhood drug dealers and a hater's gonna hate so the thing that like i like how they did it though because they made it a little bit dramatic but this little basketball the same thing from the intro of like fresh prince the original he throws the basketball trying to hit will but it misses will and it hits the drug dealer the drug dealer thinks that it's will or will's homie and then it becomes this whole other thing they start beating down the homie and then will decides to go grab the gun that the homie brought to clear everything out and it's just like bruh this just went from zero to 100 very quickly and it didn't need to so will gets thrown in jail he has a little reflection aha moment but he's promptly you know snatched out of jail the next morning because his mom figures this out calls the aunt uh, aunt aunt viv and uncle phil they pull some strings they get him out of jail and he is on the first thing smoking to la now one thing i need to go back and rewatch is like how jazz was introduced because i don't know if i wasn't paying attention or not but it just seemed like he just magically appeared in jazz's car and i'm just like they ain't sending an uber for this boy or like a black car or something like what is actually happening but we get to meet jazz in the episode and again i'm sorry about that because i really didn't go back and rewatch and figure it out but we get to meet him i like you know what he's given he seems similar to the previous jazz character and then we are thrust into the story of him and bel-air and then the rest of the episode is really just will getting to reconnect with his family we get to see that he knows them like he has a, a certain level of connection to them like he knows hillary he's excited to see hillary he's excited to see aunt viv he's excited to see carlson he just probably hasn't seen them in a very very long time and it's very clear clear that he doesn't actually fit in i knew i wasn't gonna like uncle phil when will came out and was like trying to talk to him about what happened and say thank you and like apologize and all that and he was playing coy because he's running for da so now he gotta be mindful of what he doing and it was just reconfirmed for me that i'm not gonna like uncle phil throughout this whole season because by the end of the episode he is just he he just a little too shaky for me or maybe actually y'all gonna have to check out my episode two review because he gets worse in episode two and we're gonna definitely talk about that but like uncle phil is giving shake vibes he's giving like i feel like the original uncle phil had apprehensions about will but he was still solid this uncle phil it, it he kind of feels like snake and he ain't do no snake stuff yet but i feel like it's coming and i don't like that y'all in the reboot lisa was actually dating carlton at one point and she is I guess a little cutie from the hood who's on scholarship at Bel Air Academy. Girl, what did you see in Carlton? What exactly did you see in Carlton? Because aside from Connor and his dropping the end bomb, like he has no complete sense at all, Lisa becomes the second like point of contention between will and carlton because will has feeling lisa was feeling her from the moment he saw her which i absolutely adore like i adore that lisa is not like i love nia long nia long is everything however this lisa is a much more normal looking girl like she's absolutely adorable gorgeous all of that like but she is very much so not like coke bottle frame not like just unrealistic standards of beauty and 
and she feels very very relatable so i i love that his mouth is like dropped and like he's drawn into her immediately after seeing her across the room at this party and then they connect or at the fundraiser and then they connect at the party both of them are feeling each other they have a moment where they're talking up near the bonfire where he gets a little bit more background into her i love the fact that you know she comes from a different background as well so was that's definitely gonna be a point of like them being able to connect kind of both being two fish out of water even though she's already been at bel-air academy she comes from a place that's very different that looks like what you know what will comes from and again why were you dating <laughs> carlton was it just because y'all y'all families is tight sis like what is actually going on T carlton gave me cool for like the first 15 minutes but then the moment he's like snorting xanax he said which i still think it was coke in his closet and then losing his mind and and bobby schmurdering and whatever he was doing in the center of these white boys yelling out the n-word i was just like okay okay no girl what is it how was the, the dates couldn't have been great like he, what did he have to even talk about like i can't anyway will and lisa are definitely going to be a thing and we see that the, in this episode and that is a huge point of contention for carlton and will so much so that carlton is hot out his mind and decides to push will into the pool and will can't swim so will almost drowns then lisa gotta pull him up out of there and of course will being from west philly about to handle business he takes it upon himself to not only check connor because he owed you that one from the n-word earlier but then also to check carlton and beat him down in front of all his little homies as deserved and that's where the episode kind of ends going in episode two we're definitely going to talk about the fallout of that but i didn't see nothing wrong and i have no sympathy for carlton at all okay at all again i think that the episode was a very very solid start to the series some parts are rushed and just watching like how will and carlton went from beefing about this whole n-word moment and connor to like oh let's get on the same page so that i cannot have to follow you around and let's go to this party now we cool again and then at the party they no longer cool again it's like they were just going through bouts and cycles of like love and hate too quickly for me and i know i would have still had an attitude about the n-word and i wouldn't have been wanting to go to no party with him after dealing with all of that and after getting in trouble about that like i think that as we have seen in the previous series, Phil and Aunt Viv coddle Carlton too much because this boy is literally doing drugs and running around cooning himself out and we ain't gonna talk about it. Do y'all not know about it? Like, what is it? <laughs> y'all gonna have to tell me. But that's where we're at, y'all. I, I love the dude who plays Will. I think Will's character is dope. I think that is building upon the blocks of the original Fresh Prince. Next to that, I think Hillary and Lisa will be my next favorite characters. We didn't get to see enough of Ashley. We just got little bits and pieces of her little smart wit which I'm excited to see more of. Those are definitely my favorites. My least favorites, again, y'all, are Carlton and Uncle Phil. And we're gonna get into it as I continue to break down the this series. Let me know if you are watching Bel Air in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button again so that you don't miss any of my Bel Air content. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.